Good afternoon, Kettle Land. This is forecast first. Uh, mainly uh, partly cloudy to mostly clear sky tonight. We could see a couple of isolated showers in the northeast. Temperature at uh, 62 in Sioux Falls, 55 Aberdeen, and mid 50s around here. Now we've got wind to discuss for tomorrow. In fact, we could see some wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour in the morning. And that's going to set into motion a cool down. We may still yet get a shower or thunder shower chance in the southeast. We'll talk more about that and your weekend forecast next on First at Four. Live from Killaland Media Group, Killaland News, First at Four. Coming up, when you should get the new COVID vaccine. Plus, what you can do to get some relief from allergies. And a sheriff in Kentucky is accused of killing a judge. We'll tell you what we know so far. Well, good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First of Four. I'm Tom Hansen. And I'm Kelly Volk. Sioux Falls police are investigating a kidnapping, attempted rape and assault. Police say a woman was walking in a neighborhood southeast of 12th Street and Kiwanis Avenue late Wednesday night. A prosecutor says a car pulled up. Another woman got out of the car and hit the victim in the head, knocking her unconscious. When she woke up, the victim was in an apartment. The prosecutor says she was tied up and blindfolded and was knocked unconscious again. She was later brought to rural Minnehaha County, where the prosecutor says she was bound with a phone cord and tied to a pole. Now, just after 9 o'clock last night, authorities arrested Edgar Segura. He appeared in court this afternoon on kidnapping, attempted rape, and assault charges. He's being held on a quarter-million-dollar cash bond only. The woman who is believed to be his accomplice has not been arrested. A peer man is behind bars in connection to a child pornography investigation. Court documents say the investigation started with a cyber tip about three videos being uploaded to an account. Authorities searched a home on Tuesday and found devices with what appeared to be child pornography on them. Documents say 35-year-old Andrew Michael Dickinson told authorities that he had uploaded the videos and admitted to having 20 to 30 more files. Dickinson is facing three counts of possession of child pornography. The Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help in finding a wanted man. 20-year-old Samson Nagasi is wanted for a second-degree robbery. Court documents say he's also charged with grand theft and simple assault. Documents say Nagasi allegedly took items from Kohl's and threatened someone at the store in March of this year. If you have any information, you are asked to call the sheriff's office or shoppers. Well, it kind of heated up out there today. Yeah, I think maybe our last gasp of summer for a little while at least Brian well yeah we're gonna put summer on hold a little bit this weekend as we get a taste of fall and uh, for some of you you're probably looking forward to that here's a look at your weather this afternoon we'll begin with our live camera network rapid city a lot of blue skies of course it's been a warm day and also a drying day once again Fire weather concerns remain for southwest South Dakota. Live view at Huron, we're up to 86 degrees this hour with a south wind at 10 to 20. And farther to the east, we've got 82 there at Lake Madison with that south breeze. And that should continue here for the overnight hours. That fire threat is out there in southwest South Dakota. That's a red flag warning through this evening. And then that will be allowed to expire. Tomorrow will turn cooler for the Black Hills, but we'll also have a stronger north breeze to uh, kick off the day. In fact, some of that wind coming in already tonight. 90 this hour, Philip, 95 in winter, 92 degrees in Valentine. So plenty of warmth out there, even Sioux Falls at 87, and the wind out of the south at 10. To 20 gusting a little higher. Here's your forecast tonight. 62 Sioux Falls. We may see an isolated shower, a thunder shower in the northeast, low 55 in Aberdeen, mid 50s for Pier, and about 50 degrees in Rapid City. We'll get into the details of the wind forecast for tomorrow and the cooler weather to follow all coming up. Thanks, Brian. Authorities in Han County are asking for your help in solving an animal attack. The sheriff's office says some sheep were attacked earlier this week. Some have died and a few more might not make it. Authorities don't believe it was coyotes. If you see anything or have any information that could help with the investigation, you should call the Han County Sheriff's Office. Well, a case of whooping cough has been confirmed in the Sioux Falls School District. The district sent out an email saying the student attends Roosevelt High School. The school says students who had uh, close contact with that person received additional notification. 
Last weekend, cases of whooping cough in the Portland State football team caused the cancellation of a game with the University of South Dakota. Cases have also been increasing in South Dakota. At 55, the state has more than twice the number of cases it had last year. It's a time of year when you're probably getting reminders about getting your flu shot, but there's also a new COVID vaccine on the market. So when should you get it? And what are the recommendations if these, of these days when you do get sick? Well, Kirsten Mitchell with our CBS affiliate in Minneapolis went to the doctor to get an update. As the days get shorter and leaves start to turn, another season begins. Well, I mean, we're at college, so yeah. everyone gets sick at college. This is a new atmosphere. Cold and flu. I just got over a cold that went around my school, so. <laughs> How are you feeling about COVID? As someone who works in healthcare, I have gotten COVID four times, so I can say that, you know, it's still very real. I think it's still definitely alive and present, unfortunately. But just like the seasons, Hennepin Healthcare internal medicine physician, Dr. David Hilden, says the virus is changing too. It's still gets people sick, some people still die, but it is true that it is a much different illness than what we were all used to back three, four years ago. Just in time for fall, a new vaccine is out, offering protection against the latest variant. Anyone six months and older can get the shot. You still get it around like when I get my cold flu shot as well. If you recently had COVID, the CDC says wait three months before getting the new vaccine. Over the summer, I'm pretty sure I had it. Yeah. How was it for you? Um. It was pretty mild, mostly coughing and fatigue. Luckily, none of the really bad symptoms. Dr. Hilden says those who are pregnant, immune compromised, over the age of 65 or of certain pre-existing health conditions should get the vaccine now. Everybody else, it's not an emergency. You don't have to rush off and you know wait in line for hours and hours to get the thing, but you should get it in the next few months if you can. For the first time, the vaccine is no longer free to those without insurance, but free vaccine clinics often happen where folks can find a dose. It's too bad that we're adding this little bit of a barrier to people, but the vast majority of people shouldn't pay anything for the vaccine. The vaccines don't protect against long COVID, which remains a concern. If you do catch the virus, the CDC recommends staying home until your fever is gone for 24 hours, masking up for five days, distancing yourself, and improving ventilation. If your test is still positive, you probably aren't that high of a risk. If you're feeling better and many days have lapsed, I'd recommend you go about your business. There's common sense things you can do to go about your life, not have it be too disruptive. Uh, um, but don't worry too much. With photojournalist Nick Luneman, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Some have had issues getting vaccine appointments at local pharmacies. Our affiliate has been told that it's likely due to staffing issues.